Hi friends, Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. Welcome back to my crafty desk. Today I wanted to show you some really cool thing that I came up with. Um, well, I, maybe I didn't come up with it, I really don't know. Um, but it did pop in my head while I was watching TV with my husband and I just took off like a, like a crazy person and just ran down to my craft room. I was like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I have an idea and I have to do it right now before I forget. So here is a mock-up, mock mock-up idea. So what I what I did is I took a sheet of copy dye paper and folded it in half as I would for a journal um, or for a sign you know to, for a signature for a journal of course of course of course and then I took two envelopes um, and I put them together in a way that created this little booklet. I have a little drawstring on there. I have some little tabs. Um, Little po or little tuck spots, some belly bands, um, and I and I like this, and I have a little string behind it, and to close it up on the sheet of copy dye paper on the for the signature, I just put this cute little tie in between and made this little thing. I did start off with a brad um, to wind it around, but I didn't like it was just too pokey, so I just went with this direction, and um, I used both these punches. To make that, I just cut the little one out, I think four or five times to pop it up. So there is still, it, it still does have some dimension, but not like the Brad. So, and I like this much better. So this is the mock-up. Um, I have pre-cut my stuff because I already tried this video once and it was over an hour and I wasn't even done. So I pre-cut and inked everything so that we can just move forward and I can show you what I did. And as I was doing that, of course, you know, the brain just keeps on working. So you, I came up with some more things. But my idea, just to show you real quick, is here. Let me pull this little journal in that I haven't finished. Um, I got the signature together. This was a long time ago. but um, So for instance, just say this was the signature that it was going in. Move the little ties out of the way. And pop this little thing in there like so. And then it would be like that. So when you open up your page, See, and then this you'd untie this, and then you'd have that opened up, and that opens up. Um, but um, I have created more tuck spots with these, more pockets, um, something else on this side, and then you know it just goes on and on. <laughs> so if nothing else, I have two things for my idea book. I have this as the mock-up that I can take apart because I only have it attached with washi tape, um, and then I think the one I made. Um, the one we're making now might, if it's, if I do it right this time, I might be able to put it in this one. Do you remember this journal? This one needs to get done too. I just love, I love how this one came out with the cover and I got the signature, put, you know, picked out. I just haven't done anything else. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> All right. So we have this piece of paper here. And now what I have done is I chose my coffee dye envelopes because I love the way they look. And, um... I just inked all the edges, and while I was inking them, of course this piece came come, came undone, and I thought, okay, well, I'm just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with the flow of that. So all I'm gonna do is, because um, this has to be sealed anyhow, right? So I'm just gonna put some glue there, and if my if it, my pre-measuring stuff doesn't work anymore, I can just cut it down, but I, th I think it'll be fine. So that's all I'm gonna do is right there. Um, I mean, I could have went on this end too. Maybe I will just a tad, just a tad, so it doesn't like decide it wants to rip. Be like, haha, jokes on you, Sandra. Jokes on you. So let's get this one in here, and we will do that. Now I am not the best at like tutorial type stuff. Um, I get a little sidetracked and whatnot. So I'm gonna try to stay focused here and have a friendly conversation. <laughs> I just want to say thank you to everybody um, for um, all your well wishes with my new um, little, I don't know, my, my I'm going to call it my trial run with the, with the part-time job. Um, I think it's going to, I, th I think it'll be fun. I think it's going to be something that has to be like a work in progress to see how the fit's going to work out. I think my hardest part is that it's going to be, it's like sporadic um, for the two hours a day of work anyways. You know, it's just, it's going to be as calls come in and emails come in. I don't know 100% that I'm going to love that. So 
Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, so I just want to say thank you so much for everybody's well wishes, prayers, and positive thoughts, but my husband's not happy with that. He does not like the idea of my schedule being chaotic like that, and he is my ruler. No, I'm just kidding. He's, um, my, my ruler's right here. So, anyways, that's the only one I listen to, and I don't even do that half the time. So, let's see. But it is very flexible, and um, I think it's. I think they're still doing on a learning curve as well because they're they're um, they're both real estate agents and they're very busy, and they are still pretty. I mean, still pretty fresh with their new. Um, oh my gosh, um, entity that they created as a property management company, and so and I've got. I've got a little, you know, I've got a little bit of landlord type experience, so it's, but that's kind of a different ball game a little bit, you know, so we'll yeah. see. See how I have inside that, this crease, I probably should have inked it a little bit. Um, I'm going to put a little belt right here, so, oops, um, I can mark, I can mark right here, I think it's fine. Oh my, I'm out of lead, I'm out of lead. Can you see that crease right there? That's where that envelope is. I need I need this to be able to fold over without any hindrance from this side. Okay, so I think I can go in a tiny bit to more. And I think I'm gonna grab some washi tape right here just to help me out in case I need it. So I'm gonna go like that. And I want these envelopes to match up. Really, I do, with the, you know, that that part of it okay well I guess it's gonna take me an hour anyways just to do this part Jeez. Jeez. I forgot to look at the clock anyway so wish us luck okay. all right here we go there I hard to use my teeth there let me get rid of that other piece there. I just wanted to rip it in half because I don't want to stick this down to the page yet. Um, so the other thing I want to do is I want that tie and I want it to go behind this. And I want it to come out and tie. So let's just make it bigger than it needs to be and trim it to where it could, could be. Okay, there we go. Later. Later. Then this would go down first. Um, on here. Oh my gosh, pull it together, girl. I promise I could do this. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use washi tape here as well and just put this down because I don't want it to interfere with the tag that's gonna go in on behind it. And maybe I should have put some glue on this. But I feel like the, even though it's washi tape, it's coffee dye paper, so and it's very thin, it's cheap paper, I feel like this is gonna stick fine. So it's gonna give it a good burnish in between that thing there. There we go. And now that that's down, then we'll attach this. So I think the first thing I wanna do is I wanna get the belt on before I glue my two sides down. And I'm gonna glue this side and then this side. Um, down there, so, but I want to put the belt on. Here is the belt, or belly band, I mean. I guess I should call it a belly band because there's gonna be something that goes in it, but I feel like it's also a belt. It's a belt. We could call it a belt if we want to. I have to trim it down. Let's see, I knew my measurements would not be exact, but I think I'm gonna go on this end and just give it a little off the side. And then we're just going to get these edges these corners I already have everything done so and I'm putting it together so we want it to match and I'm using vintage photo distress ink not not I don't know why I keep calling it dioxide it's distress oxide and I'm I think I must be combining the two words together but I'm not using oxide I'm using distress ink so there so I just I give it a tester like is that gonna go yep and obviously we can see my pencil mark because my belt doesn't go all the way over there, so that's okay. 
All right, let's get the, let's get that. Well, before I put the belt on, slow down, girl, slow down. I needed to put, I want to, um, I want something to keep that down, but I think, I don't want anything, I feel like if the tags are going to hit that, like that little piece that comes over, well, I want stability though. Maybe I'll put this down and then I'll put washi tape over this. I think that is probably my... Just want to keep the envelopes together, you know? So, without sealing it, sealing it to the bottom page. And I want it to stay hidden. So we're gonna make sure it stays under the belt. And then I'm gonna take washi tape and this time I am going to put glue on it because I want to make sure and actually, I don't want to waste that roll. I'm going to use this one because I don't really use this one very often. And I have two of these. I only have one of that other one. I guess I do use this actually quite often. So, but that's okay. I still I have two of these. Um, I'm going to put it right there, and we'll just use this glue here. I don't even have a glue book, so. Ugh. I mean, I do have one. I just don't have it near me. I don't think. Go there and take that off. There we go. Oh, right. And, oh, it's gonna show there, that's okay. I don't care, you know what, that, that's fine. I think I can live with that. If you can live with it, I can live with it. Okay. I hate when I forget when I'm in a hurry and I'm like, craft, 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 and then we have to leave and go to the store. This happened to me the other day and I forgot to um, take wipies with me and I just ran it out. Like my husband's like, come on, come on. So I'm like, okay, fine. I just closed all, I closed all my glues up and took off and I went running and we go into the store and I went to go grab something off the shelf, <laughs> you know, put on the cart and I had vintage photo. Okay, like, you know, on my hands. So that does not look like vintage photo unless you, unless you're, if you're a crafter, you know what it is. You know what? Oh, that's probably a vintage photo. Oh, I thought she's a crafter. No. It's not. People won't know what you do. <laughs> They're just like, oh my lordy, what the heck is What's on that girl? <laughs> please let it, please let it be rust from the, from the fender of her car. Come, okay, I'm just going to leave that alone. So, there. Then I have that and I have that. Then I want to put my belt on. Uh, but I must, I must find the belt. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Cute. Oh my gosh, I just love this thing. I think I just want to make a bunch of these and put them in my stash. But, you know, I'm still trying to get my idea book put together. Um, I'm still trying to um, navigate through my mad mess of notebooks and notes and ideas and making sure I... There's just so much stuff. I mean, like, I'm, I'm probably singing to the choir here, but it'll get done. I want it to be fun, so I just need to relax. Just relax, relax, Sandra. You can do it. You can do it all, we all can. All right, let me see. I'm gonna put this down now. So I'm just gonna go, just like I said, just down the edge here. As straight as I can. There, not too bad for that one. We'll see on the next side. And then I want to close, whoops, geez Louise. Okay, close this. I'm gonna close it so I can see where I'm laying it down at, you know? Oh man, I got my belt on. I made my thing crooked. My glue's gonna dry. Okay. Things to fix in a minute. Get this down. There. I don't know why I had to make that so difficult. Now I'm just going to just lift this slide up like this, and I'm just gonna go down the edge here just like that. Apologize if you can't see exactly what I'm doing or where I'm doing it, but I think, I think, I think, I'm hoping that you got what I'm doing. Pull that string out. I guess I should make sure those are like pretty even, huh? Now this is where I was like a little nervous because I didn't get my envelope straight, but but we know we use lace and ink to cover our mistakes and many other items if we, and why did I say mistake? Our secrets, there's no mistakes, no mistakes, none. Okay, there we go, there we go. So, so far so good. 
Oh my gosh, don't let me get too, I better not get too cocky here. So I already, so I already pre-cut, like I said, my tags. So, and I pre-cut everything. So this, my paper is what, eight and a half by 11. So this is what, eight and a half this way. And then my tag is just right under that. So I think I, I must've cut my tag. I guess, we can, I guess we can know for sure. Why not? Why not? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven in. Uh, a little over seven and a half, but I think seven and a half is what I was shooting for. Now let's make sure it fits in here. Oh, and it's also by, I guess that's helpful, one, two, three and a quarter. Now I measured it according to the envelopes that I used and the sizes of my envelopes. And my envelopes are um, one, two, three, four, five, six and a half by one, two, three, three and three quarters, I think, is what it comes out to when it's folded in half, when they're folded like they're not supposed to be. So then I did that, I loved that. So then I had my little side pockets here. We have that one for that side, and I have, I know I have another one over here. What'd I do with it? So I have, I have these already cut, and I just cut these down just to fit inside of them. Mine came out to two and a quarter by two and three quarters. And then I can just tuck one there. And then I can tuck one right here, and even underneath that. I think this is gonna work. I, I don't know, because I haven't tested this part out. So hopefully, oh, that's the wrong side. That's part of my issue there. Okay, come on. Where are you all at? I have one for this side. And they all measure the same. I just kept it pretty consistent with the measurements, it did my best. I used three different types of, three different sheets of card stock out of this um, deck, out of this deck, out of this paper pad here. Um, it's an older paper pad. I've, I've used this before on some of my videos, you may remember. And I used this teal colored one and I used, um, I, sh I guess I, sh I don't have them. They're, they're all tore up now, but I used, I used, I have this one because I don't have this one left. So I have this sheet. I used one of these and I used this one right here. And then I used, oh, I guess I used four different ones. And I also used this teal colored one. And then I used bits and pieces of another one that has all of it. So it all came from the same paper pad. So it all works well together. And I have a bunch of tags that I made here. But I can't find my little side pocket. So let me finish getting this together. Then I, so in the belt here, this one goes, and it is one, two, three, four, five and, um, five and a half by three. And I just stuck that one in there. So this is just, that's a little bit tight. I may need to trim that down a little bit, but for now we're just gonna leave it like so. Um, I have another piece. I guess we'll get this one down. I can find this one. So this one, and there's one that matches this, and it goes on this side. So let's get that down. So I'm going to glue just on the edges here. Whoops. I was hoping for a little bit straighter line, but that's okay. It'll, it'll still work. I'm going to take that out while I glue this down. And I'm just going to leave a little bit of an edge. It just gives me a little bit of peace of mind to see that inking that I worked so hard on. <laughs> And then this one actually tucks down in there, so it's kind of like a little hidden tag. So that was like a happy accident that happened when I was inking. This piece popped open, and I was like, oh, I gotta glue it back down. Then I was like, oh, but wait. And I actually wish I would have put it like a little thing there, but that's okay. That's something else that can be addressed later. And then inside this pocket, I have um, these cute tags that I made. I believe it's this one, and... It's this one here, is that it? And then this one here, like that. And then I think I have the same thing going on over here. I just kind of mimic the sides, but I gotta find my little piece there. Gotta find that little piece. It's here somewhere, unless I, oh my gosh, are you, what if I cut it, what if I cut it, um, I thought it was a piece of scrap and I cut it up. Like, no, it's not that one. Well, anyhow, we'll just keep moving forward. I also cut, pieces to go inside this. So not only does it have these little flaps here, these little pockets, these little tuck spots, it's got, it also holds something in there. Isn't that cool? So um, we have that. So now this envelope has this piece right here 
It has two tags right here and it has two tags right there. And we do need to embellish that little piece there just to, um, you know, make it look so it's finished. So it's a finished piece. Um, let's see, I still can't find that piece. What in the sand hill did I do with it? I put that aside and put that aside. So, let me gather my bearings here. So I know that goes there and I know that goes there. And I feel like I also did, oh, I think I put another piece in another tag in here. So they're so, everything is so nice and flat. Nothing's bulky. So even when I close this, even with all of this in here, like it's still, I don't feel like it's any bit thicker than an, a pocket. You know, I guess it could be, it's, it's probably on the thicker I'm side. I'm just gonna put that there like that, even though it's not part of the program. I'm gonna put a little paper clip on it because I know I'm gonna find that piece. I know it. Now, what did I do with all this stuff? Here it is. So that would go here. And then that would go here. There we go. Perfect. Then, but then I couldn't be done because um, I knew it. As soon as I did that, I would find the piece. So, anyhow, uh, there we go. I thought, um, I thought maybe I threw it away or cut it up. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm going to take that out because I know I'll just glue it together if I don't. And... Stick to that down the same way. There we go. And then, here we go. So does anybody have plans for the 4th of July? Do you guys do anything crazy or fun or exciting, new, different? Or um, we have, um, where we live, we're on the border of um, Osilius, BC, Canada, um, British Columbia, Canada. So we are really lucky because we get to see both the um, Canada Days, firework show that goes off in Osilias and we get to see the big firework display in our town they do it down at the at the lake over the lake um, and that's just um, east of where my house is and so where my backyard is you can see you can see the lake um, and you can see but you can see the whole entire firework show and then up if you go up in the back in the back of my house if you go upstairs there's there's an upper deck, an upper porch deck covered porch. So I guess it's a porch because it's covered, right? But it's like a deck. So anyhow, that's where all the, the kids love to go up there um, when they're here. And they like to go up there and they watch the show because they can see it. But you can literally just go lay on the front lawn here at the house. Just, not the front lawn. It's the backyard. But we call it, I guess we call it, everybody calls it the front because it's, anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Okay, so. Um, this is what goes here. Now, this is where you can decide if you want to put a little bit more on here. And honestly, I think what I would do is just put like a little bit of a stencil. I'm just going to grab whatever's handy. I'm going to put this, do this one and, um, and, and, and just lay some ink down just to, just to give it a little bit more, um, a little bit more something here, um. I like that whole big thing there actually so and then maybe just turn this around this way and just do that because we're not going to see all of this are we but I do would I, I do I would like this piece right here up there and maybe even down here we don't why not why not why not Anyhow, so it's pretty exciting. Um, sometimes we'll have like a barbecue and things like that. This year, the 4th of July is on a, a weeknight. So, and usually my kids, my sisters, their kids, everybody will come and hang out and stay the night. But when it's when 4th of July lands in the middle of the week, it's um, harder because they all have to work. So they would have to take the day of the 4th off for sure to travel over and then Usually they take the next day off because that's traveling home, right? So that's two days off. And not, not everybody has vacation days that they can take like that. And so, and then with the kids getting older and with sports, sports wait, sports wait for no holidays, right? So a lot of times there's like sports, like camps and whatever's going on too. Like they'll have like, who knows, 
whatever the kids are into at that time. There's so many of them. But anyways, it's so exciting. And so even if they don't all come over, we still get together here. Um, my my very good friend, Brianne, and her family. She's she is my very best friend, but she's my, she's like my sister. I've talked about her a lot. She's got she's got Maylee, my mini BFF. She also has my sweet little my sweet little Carson and Aubrey, and those are her twins. They're all older. They're probably like quit calling us <laughs> that. But anyways, it doesn't matter. I love them, and they just have to deal with it. So I made another tag to go here. Oh, and I got a splotch of glue there. So they'll all come over. The only thing is, is like if we have barbecues, you know, you eat early and it doesn't get dark here until like 10 o'clock. So the fireworks show doesn't usually start until like 10 o'clock. That's kind of late. So I think what I did here is I just took the rest of all my papers that were left over and I just made a bunch of tags. I feel like these can play well within this if I use this in a journal or they'll play with anything else because I have a whole bunch more over here from that first one that I was like went nuts on because it was dark in the background, light in the front. I had to go opposite because I didn't have enough paper to fix my thing the way I did it. So then this is the front here. So this also lends the opportunity of more, um, more decoration, right? I could put another belt on there. I mean, I feel like, I've, I feel like I've, I've got that pretty much taken care of. So I'm not going to really worry about and putting anything on this. I think if I did anything, I'd probably just use this cute little tag here just because it's so tiny I'm just like what else am I gonna do with that and then from there I can take and put you know something back behind it like that yeah let's just do it let's not talk about it let's just do it so this would go on here and I think I'm just gonna go down the edge here anyhow so then the fireworks show doesn't start until 10 so that's a lot of time in between eating um, and you know just hanging out and stuff like that which don't get me wrong, like I can hang out and everybody's more than welcome to come and go as they please, but um, you know, you figure even if you push dinner to, you know, 6.30, that's still, you know, 10 o'clock till the fireworks go. It's a long time, but, but it's still fun. Maybe we'll go to the, if it's really nice that day, sometimes it's um, stormy on the 4th of July around here for some reason, we get those summer storms. Um, but if it's really nice, maybe we could spend the day at the lake instead, and then everybody can go home and take a nap, and then we can eat and drink and be merry. But so, see, I don't know, because my idea was to put a little, a little notch thing on there. But maybe I'll skip that now, and I'll just do this. Or I can do something different over here. So the reason why I wanted this tie on here is because uh, obviously it got a little poofy, right? So. But I'll make one of those little things just to show you what I did, if you would like to see it. Let me see what, how much time we have because I know this project takes longer than I anticipate. Oops, and I can't tie a bow because, you know, I had that bone, those bone fusions on my hands. Well, so right here and here on these bones was a bone fusion when I, um, and I had, I went through four years of hand, sur between, well, I did two surgeries on both, in each hand. So. One surgery was to do the bone fusion, and then I had a second surgery to remove the metal plates and screws because I did not want to keep them in there. They they hurt. I didn't like it. They were more painful. I could feel the screws, and they would poke out. I, I didn't like it. And so I had them removed, which was also a pretty intense surgery. Not as intense as the bone fusion, but pretty intense nonetheless. So it took about four years altogether between surgeries and healing. So cute, cute. What do you think? Isn't that Actually, adorable? It's nice in this book. So maybe this will be, you know, I only have like so many journals still in my, I haven't finished. I have some, some of them are this far done, a little bit further and a little bit less. So when we open up our page, boom, 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 boom. There we go. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I would be in love with this. I mean, I am in love with this. Okay, so that's a good sign. Um, I'm not see if, if it tied back here I could still do that and put that little thing there and leave that like that I think I'm gonna do that because I like the idea of this just being down I mean that could you know potentially just go like that right and be like a little um, headband be like yep we are in the 80s again so we untie this that's what we we're doing <gasps> cute little tag it even has room for something else back here 
Oh my gosh, look at this cute little tag. Oh my gosh, another tag. Oh my gosh, another tag. Oh my gosh, another tag. Oh my gosh, seriously, that is just incredible. And then, whoop, that's not all. Another tag here. And then you open it up and the same old thing on this side. And then, wait a minute, a tag, a tag, and another tag. That is a ton of journaling space. I took, an, and you can, she, whoever can even journal on this if they wanted to. So technically I did not take the entire page away, but I literally gave it like three more pages, four more pages worth of journalings. So yay, yay. Oh my gosh, you gotta tell me what you think. I absolutely love this. It's so great. I'm gonna have to make lots of these and stick them in my uh, stash, my grab and go. Um, maybe what I'll do is all those journals that I have sitting aside, at least a few of them that I've got closer to being done, uh, I'll grab some cardstocks. And I did go with the cardstock with a thinner, with the decorative cardstock. I think I'll grab some of those and um, the little match. I know that I used four coordinating sheets to do this. So I'll stick with that. I'll do four, at least three, maybe four coordinating sheets and get this put together um, for all those journals so they all have one. And then I'll have one for my idea book. All right. Tell me what you think. I really, really love this. I'm so excited. I can't wait to make more of these. And I will see you on the next video. My friends, thanks for hanging out with me and all your support. Enjoy all your moments. Bye. Wait, I'm back. <laughs> I forgot to show you that I was gonna, how to make that little circle thingy. So let's just do that real fast here. Um, let's go ahead and use, these are the colors. I have these little scraps here. So let's do, let's do it with these. So what, what we did is, I'm gonna get one out of this color just in case I choose that one. So I got the big one, right? And then I just inked around the edge just to give it some, you know, um, what do you call it? To make it stand out. And so if I did that, and if I wanted to tie this, because I gotta figure out where my tie is, so let me take that out really quick. So my tie is gonna be here and go straight across. So I'm gonna put my little, my little doohickey right here. Um, actually, and it could stick out if I wanted it to, couldn't it? Wouldn't that be cute? So, but anyhow, that's where it's gonna be. So, do we want it to stick out or to stay inside? I think stick out's fine. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and get that glued on here. Okay, like so. And I think what I'll do, since I'm using that color, maybe I'll do the same thing on this side. I'm kind of changing it up a little bit, but I'm, but still making it the same way that I made the other one. And the same thing, I'm gonna go ahead and just ink around the edges so that it matches everything else that we're doing. And I'm just gonna do this, and I'm not doing this for any other reason but to um, cover that white space up and then just make, just give it some interest. It doesn't matter, right? Do what you wanna do. If you don't wanna do this part, if you have a better idea or a different idea, I guess, why did I say better? We all have wonderful ideas. So if you have an, a wonderful idea that you wanna do, please do your wonderful idea. And um, share, share, and share alike. We all like to learn from each other, okay. So there we go, I'm gonna put that there. And then I took my, and if I wanted to do it the same color, I would just do, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do it with this light green. I don't wanna do the blue. I'm just gonna go, I'm pretty sure I did five of these. So one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, okay, well, yep, there they all are, so. All, all I did here is I glue that, and then I take that one and I stick it on top, and then I glue that and I take that one, stick it on top, and then I glue that one, and then I stick that one on top. Whoops, oh, it doesn't matter which way it goes. Go down into the thing, please. And then I did that one, and I put that one on top, there we go. Then, to stay consistent, we just dab this, most, I mean, generally I would wait until it's dry, but that's okay. A little ink on my dauber is not gonna hurt it, right? <laughs> just kidding. Okay, there we go. Um, and I just wanna, I'm gonna use this paper right here. I just wanna press it down just to give it a squish. So that's just, I just wanted to give it a little build up, just a little bit there. And then I'm gonna put glue on the messiest side and I'm gonna stick that down like that. And 
so my first, I know you can like wind them underneath. Um, it wasn't working the way I wanted it to, and I'm not like fabulous at that. And like I said, the brad was just too pokey, and I think I actually only used four of these last time, not five, but that's all right. Too late now. And then all I'm gonna do is put this, I'm gonna wind this around here, but I'm gonna glue it down so my little string stays. Okay, and then like that, okay? Just like that, just let it, give it a second to dry. Um, and then it's, I'm gonna bring it around a little bit more on this side now so that it comes all the way down to there. I want it to be in line with this. And once that dries, it's not dry right now, then I would just tie these two together. Okay, does that make sense? And then I'll, now I have the option, I can either stick my tag in like that, or I can put it, you know, I can just put it on the outside. It doesn't matter. I can just, well, you know, let's see. We can do like a little Heidi tag back there and then we can put this one back. So it can go over that little tie, but, oh, but it, I, 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 thought it looked, I thought it looked fine going underneath it. Whoops. Okay, now I'm really done. Um, and I just wanna again say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for hanging out with me, crafting with me, commenting, liking, subscribing, and, um, and pushing me to do better. I do, I love it and I love all the suggestions that I get and the, um, just the friendships and the support and the love that you give me on this channel. This is so incredibly cool. I love it. I'm excited for the future. And with that, I will now say goodbye and see you on the next video. Enjoy all your moments, my friends. Bye.